Welcome back to the Zombie Side playthrough. And we left off with the three survivors in a zone with a fatty. It is now the survivor's turn. What I'm actually going to do is because Amy is only one away uh, from being in the yellow zone, if she kills the fatty with the fire axe, then she goes into yellow. And when the spawning happens, we get uh, worse things happening. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Ned go first up here. And his first action is going to be an exchange action. He's actually going to exchange the crowbar and the fire axe. So he's going to give uh, Amy the crowbar. He's going to take the fire axe. Now he has two actions left and he's going to try to take down the fatty with the fire axe. So it rolls one dice, hits on a four plus and does two damage. So let's see if he can take it down. And four plus, his first shot takes down the fatty, gone. So he will go up from one to two. And the reason I did that, I didn't want Amy to go into the yellow zone just yet. So that leaves Ned with uh, one action left. So I'm just gonna leave him right there because again, we have a uh, spawn zone right here. Next up, I'm going to have Amy now go and she has a crowbar and a submachine gun. I'm gonna have her do her free movement, which she gets right here. Her second movement, I'm gonna have her open the door to this building silently. The crowbar does not make noise when it opens doors. Uh, and I forgot the fire axe does make noise. So there is a noise token here from Ned hacking up the uh, zombie. So she opens the door. Now we have to spawn possibly in the room. So just put the camera up a little bit. So I'm gonna start here and go clockwise. So one, two, three, four. So we need to roll four times and see if we have a spawn happening. So we do not in the first zone or the second or the third. Now the one with the X in it. Yes, we do. So we do get a spawn up here and that is going to be uh not too bad just one walker shows up there so we have a walker appearing in that room now the reason i'm doing the one and three is uh, as i mentioned before with only playing with three characters if you spawn every single time uh, the game will be over in about three turns because you will just get completely swamped uh, so what i'm what i do as kind of a house rule is i have for each character in the game I do a one in six chance of spawn happening so with three there's three and six chance of spawn happening if you're just playing with one character which you can do then there'll be a one in six chance of a spawn happening it just kind of um, very varies the game so that it's not impossible to win with fewer characters and it makes it still fairly challenging as well so that is uh, Amy's free move her one action was opening the door and I think for her second action, she's gonna move into the room. And her third action, she's going to use a submachine gun to try to shoot the walker that is inside this building. So it's three dice, hits on a five plus. And she rolled a six and a six. So she actually hit twice. She only needs to hit once. And I just made a mistake. But anyway, she now goes into the yellow. I didn't want to do that, but we're into the yellow zone now. So here we go. All right, last up is Doug. Now Doug has a crowbar and a pistol. I'm just gonna have him go one, two into here and I'm gonna have him do a search action as his third action. So he finds some water. So if he gets thirsty, he can have a little drink. And that is gonna end the character's turn. So next, of course, is going to be the zombies. So we'll just, I'll reset the camera a little bit here so I can see what's going on and we'll get to the zombie actions. Okay, so the first thing that the zombies do is attack any characters if there's a zombie in the same zone, which there are not. So now we are into the movement phase, and I can't quite get everything in the camera. I moved it back a little bit, but line of sight, this zombie's going to shamble up here. There is a runner up here, and he gets to move two spaces, one and two, so he's running over here. This one is just going to shamble straight in here and these two will shamble up here. Now I also forgot to put the sound marker in for Amy's submachine gun, uh, but I won't do it now. I'll just take them off. So we're gonna have a spawn happening. Actually, I sh should leave the sound markers on, uh, but the most sound, of course, is in this room right here. So I'm gonna do the north, east, south, west spawn actions again. So here we go, north, no spawning, east, Yes, south, yes, and west, no. 
So again, we have east and south with spawns. So in the east, we're going to have, well, now we're into yellow because Amy is into the yellow zone. So now we have a runner is gonna show up in the east right here. And in the south, we're gonna have, oh, we're into runners again, another runner. Now runners get two actions per turn. So they're a little nastier than uh, the regular run of the mill zombies. So that ends the zombie turn. I don't think I have time to do one more uh, hero turn and finish up another zombie turn and then that will be good for today. So let me just readjust the camera and we'll get back to the heroes, or sorry, the survivors. So now it's the survivor's turn again. And the first thing I'm going to do is Amy is right here and I'm gonna have her shoot at the runner with her submachine gun. So let's go ahead and do that. And she rolls a five, which is enough to take down the runner. Runners only have one hit point. So she goes up from eight into nine, still in the yellow zone. Now, when she's in the yellow zone, I forgot, she actually gets plus one action now. She's kind of going, uh, she still gets her uh, plus one free move action, but now because she's in yellow, she gets a plus one action. So she actually has three actions left and a free move. So for a free move, she's gonna move here. For her second of four actions, she's going to take the objective token. That adds five, up to 14. And now she has two actions left. I'm just gonna move her back here, and for her very last action, she's going to do a search. And she finds a sawed off shotgun. That's really good stuff. It's a dual weapon, uh, so it can be used. Uh, Ned already has a sawed off shotgun, so maybe it'd be a good idea for one player to end up, uh, one character to end up having both sawed off shotguns. You roll them both at the same time. So now as the second player, I'm gonna have Doug go. Doug is in the room. I'm just gonna have him um, do a search. And wow, he finds a rifle. This is a good weapon. It lets you shoot a range of one to three. It hits on a three plus. So. I'm going to have him put the crowbar back in reserve and I'm going to have him have the rifle at the ready. So that's one action that I forgot the noise token for Amy shooting. Um, one action, so two and three. She's going to move out into the street with Ned. Now up to Ned's turn. He's got three actions. Uh, he has a couple of uh, zombies right in front of him. The first thing he's going to do obviously, is he's going to use a sawed-off shotgun. Now, he gets to roll two dice with the sawed-off shotgun and hits on a three plus. So his first shot is a five and four. He blows away both of them. The one shot, the runner and the walker go down. And that's going to give him two experience. So he goes up from two to four. And now the sawed-off shotgun has a reload. So once you fire it, uh, you must spend one more action to reload it. So I don't think he's going to bother. He's got uh, two actions left. So he's actually going to go one, two, and no, I'm going to leave him here. Never mind. So that's basically the end of the survivor's turn. So now I'll just readjust the camera a little bit and we get back to the zombies. And I think that will end it for this session. So hang on here. Okay, just trying to get everything a little bit more in frame. Things a little bit farther away, but uh, zombies turn. Uh, there are no zombies with the survivors, so there will be no attacks going on. And movement, uh, line of sight, this one's going to come straight down to the center. And these two, the most noise is right here. They're going to shamble to the center, and the runner moves two spaces. We now have four zombies right in the center, which uh, may or may not be too bad. And now I'm going to roll for spawning again. Again on a 1 to 3 we spawn, on a 4, 5, 6 we don't. So north is no, east is no, south is yes, and west is a yes. So this time we're spawning on the south and on the west. So, and we're in the yellow zone. On the south we get, alright, we get three walkers. So we'll get the three walkers out here. One, two three and over on the west we have oh this is not the best two runners so you can see when you go from 
um, the blue into the yellow, you start getting a lot more zombies. Well, that's going to end it, I think, for this, uh, we'll call this part two. The survivors have collected two of the objectives. There's still one more to collect here, one more to collect here to win the scenario. Uh, we now have seven walkers on the board and a couple of runners showed up. So things heating up a little bit. Join me next time for part three, and we'll see if the survivors can maybe get another objective token in the next session. Thanks for watching.